Hi Hello Class, my name is Mrs Price and I'm going to be one of your teachers in September. I thought I'd read you a story today, it's called Starting School. The first day. The children wait in the playground with their mums and dads and brothers and sisters and a puppy. The bell rings. Gavin and Errol and Sophie and Shushma and David and Kate and Robert and Alison go into the school and meet their teacher. They hang their hats and coats in the cloakroom, have a look at the toilets and go into the classroom. They sit on the mat with the rest of the class. The teacher calls the register and collects the dinner money. She shows the children around the classroom and to the parents too. In the classroom, there are tables, chairs and drawers for the children to keep their things in. There is a book corner, a home corner, an interest table, a box of dressing up clothes and a baby rabbit in the rabbit hutch. You're going to have drawers in yellow class too, where you can put all of your things. We have a book corner. We also have a home corner. We call it our role play area. We don't have a baby rabbit in our school, but we do, do have two guinea pigs who live in a hutch outside. During the morning, Gavin and Errol and Sophie and Shushma and David and Kate and Robert and Alison get used to the classroom and the rabbit gets used to them. At playtime, they go out to play. At dinner time, they eat their dinners. In the afternoon, they draw pictures, go out to play again and have singing in the hall. You'll be able to eat your lunch at school too. At the end of the day, they tidy up, have a story on the mat, put their hats and coats on and go home. The second day, the next day, Gavin and Errol and Sophie and Shushma and David and Kate and Robert and Alison go to school again. In the morning, they do a picture and some writing in their new books. After that, they have music and movement in the hall. Errol's mum plays the piano. Some of our teachers at school can play the piano. At playtime, Robert loses his hat and Alison finds it. Errol bangs his knee and the teacher rubs it better. Gavin and Shushma and David climb on the climbing frame. Kate thinks about climbing. In the afternoon, the children make some models. They show them to the head teacher, have a story on the mat and go home. Mrs. James is our head teacher. She likes to see all of the models and work we've done at school. The first week. As the days go by, the children get more used to school. I think you'll get used to school too, the more you've been here. On Wednesday, they go into the hall for assembly. They listen to the singing and say a prayer. They watch some older children do a play. On Thursday, they started learning to read. Gavin can already read. He brings his book from home to show the teacher. Errol brings his tooth to show the teacher. It came out in the night. I hope you're looking forward to learning how to read. On Friday, they go swimming in the school pool. The water is warm and not deep. Robert and Shushma and Kate jump up and down. David and Sophie walk in down the steps. Errol thinks about walking in. Our junior school just down the road has a swimming pool, but we don't have a swimming pool here. In the afternoon, Kate and Shushma and David do cooking with David's mum. They make 12 little cakes, three big cakes and a mess. Time goes by. The next week, Gavin and Errol and Sophie and Shushma and David and Kate and Robert and Alison choose a name for the rabbit. They draw rabbit pictures, they make rabbit models, they bake rabbit biscuits, 
have rabbit stories on the mat and do lots more rabbit things beside. Our guinea pigs are called Daisy and Biscuit. The week after that, the children have their photographs taken. And the week after that, Gavin loses a glove and Alison learns to swim. Sophie reads a book and Shushma shows her sari and her diva lamp. Robert thinks about being in a Halloween play. Sometimes you might lose things at school. We always ask that you write your name on everything. And sometimes the children are happy and sometimes they feel a bit sad. Sometimes they might feel puzzled or sleepy or grumpy or lumpy or spotty. Sometimes the teacher's not too happy either. I'm sure we will be. The end of term. Christmas comes. In the last week of term, the infants do a play about baby Jesus. Everybody has a part and all the mums and dads come to watch. We do a Christmas play here at our school too. On the last day of term, the children bring cakes and crisps and sausages, sandwiches and jellies and have a party in the classroom. Then Gavin and Errol and Sophie and Shushma and Kate and David and Robert and Alison go home. And the holiday begins. I hope you enjoyed that story, children. It talks all about starting school. Our school is a little bit different to the school in this book. You all have received a starting school storybook in your information that your mummies and daddies will have. See if you can read that together at home and that will get you ready to come to school. Looking forward to seeing you in September, children. Bye.